Hi students, this is your third video of lesson 1. This chapter we are going to learn about rounding numbers. Rounding numbers. How to round the numbers? Nearest to 10, nearest to 100, nearest to 1000, nearest to 10,000, like that. How to round the numbers? Nearest to 10, first one, nearest to 10. Nearest to 10. Nearest to 10 means the answer should be the multiple of 10 only. Answer should be the multiple of 10. You have to round the number with the multiple of 10. Multiple of 10 means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. 100 also multiple of 10. 150 also multiple of 10. So whatever it is, the answer should be multiple of 10. Next. Nearest to 100. Nearest to 100. So the answer should be the nearest 100, sorry, uh, multiple of 100, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, like that. Then nearest to 1000, nearest to 1000, answer should be the multiple of 1000, 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, like that. Okay, and nearest to 10,000, nearest 10,000. Answer should be the near uh, multiple of 10,000. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 like that. First one. Nearest 10. From your uh, book I will give some examples. Nearest 10. Our question is 28. Round this number to the nearest 10. Nearest 10. I will as I told already. Answer should be the multiple of 10 one. Okay. So 10 20, 30, 40, like that. Here is 28. So, in, uh, in nearest uh, 10 means here is 20. Okay. After that, 30 will come. After that, 40 will come. So, this is the multiple of 10s. Our question is 28. 28. 20 is here. 30 is here. So, 25 will come here. 20, 25 will come here. 25, 26, 27, 28. Here will be 28. What will be the nearest to 10? 30. Our answer is 30. So 28 is very near to 30. So 30 is the nearest to 10 for 28. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. 25. Question is 25. Here will be 20. Here will be 30. 25 is the middle. So, if the question is middle, half or more than half, half or more than half, you have to round up the number, round up the number, the biggest number. Okay. If the question is less than half, less than half, maybe uh, 24 or 22 like that. Okay. So, you have to round the number, the previous multiple, previous multiple. So, half and more than half you have to take the upper number less than half you have to take the previous number one more example 42 42 okay what will be the answer nearest to 10 40 will be here and 50 will be here in between 40 and 50 45 42 will be here 42 what is our answer 40 is the answer because this is less than the half this is less than the half 42 is less than the half so, 40 will be our answer. If it is 47, 50 will be the answer. Okay? 50 will be the answer. So, half and more than half, you have to take the next number. Less than half, you have to take the previous number for rounding the numbers. So, this is nearest 10. What about nearest 100? Nearest 100 means, nearest 10 finished. Nearest 100 means, answer will be multiple of 100, 100, 200, 300, 400, like that. Multiple of 100. From your book, one example I will give. Uh, 252. 252. Okay. So, 100, 200, 200 is here. Our question is 252. 100, 200, 300, 400, like that. It will go. So, 200 is here. 300 is here. Our question is, what is the answer? 200 or 300. Okay. 200 and 300. What will be the middle? 250. What is our question? 
252 so 252 will come here so our question is more than half the upper number you have to take as a answer so 300 is the answer me sometimes our question is 232 232 what will be the answer 200 will be the answer this is so nearest to 100 this is very easy topic then nearest to 1000 nearest to 1000 1500 our question is 1500 1500 so 1000 will be here and 2000 will be here our question is 1500 it is in the middle 1500 in the middle so the answer is half and more than half you have to take the upper number so 2000 will be answer one more question mm. so 12550 12550 nearest to 1000 nearest to 1000 answer should be the multiple of 1000 12,000 will be here and 13,000 will be here. Here, 12,500. What do you, our question is 12,550? It will come here, it will come here. Okay, so the question is half and more than half. I have to take the upper number. This is the this is our answer. Okay, so next one, uh, round the numbers to the nearest. 10,000 so answer will be the multiple of 10,000 answer will be multiple of 10,000 53,000 109 this is our question nearest to 10,000 nearest to 10,000 so 10,000 means multiple of 10,000 10,000 20,000 30,000 40,000 50,000 okay so 50,000 60,000 60,000 okay like that the answer will come so what is our question 53,109 in between 50,000 and 60,000 55,000 will come right in between 50,000 and 60,000 50,000 will come our question is 53,000 so maybe 53,000 will be here so what will be the answer 50,000 will be the answer. So, like that, you can complete the remaining exercises. A homework I will send in your WhatsApp group. Next one is Roman numbers. Roman numbers. Roman numbers. The previous years, okay. I actually, you already know that the Romans used to different system of writing numbers. They used the following seven letters of the alphabets to write all numbers. First, I for one, okay, and V for five, X for ten. L for 50, C for 100, D for 500, at last M for 1000. So I for 1, B for 5, X for 10, L for 50, C for 100, D for 500 and M for 1000. So these are the letters Roman used to represent the numbers represent the numbers Roman letters okay understood so <clears throat> here is some rules we have to follow here is some rules we have to follow and rule number one uh, numerals 1 X and C and M can be repeated to represent the numbers uh, directly I think directly we can go to our exercises exercise 1.6 with the exercise I will explain the rules and regulations first question is 36 36 36 10 
36 we can write 30 plus 6 okay 30 plus 6 30 we can't do uh, we, we don't have any roman numerals so 3 times 10 how many times 10 3 times 10 so x x x we can write x x x 6 5 plus 1 6 5 plus 1 6 so b i okay so this is 36 one more 506 506 500 d 500 for d so d plus 6 5 plus 1 6 b i this is for 506 okay and 312 312 3 times 100 plus 2 so c c c 10 plus 2 x i i okay uh, we are not giving that much importance to roman numerals because we are not using more so simply just uh, go through your books then you will understand the remaining one okay so um, thank you students